so you'll probably want to keep going. I have a fire extinguisher right there too, so uh, we don't need to put down anything. So we'll just kind of hold them carefully. So they're going to pop. I'm going to light it. It takes a little while, but once it starts getting real going, you can either hold on to the string or I can do this down right here. Uh, the middle part. So, yeah, so you just hold it. You just hold it gently, gently on the top. You're not late. Come on in. Right on the uh, get the council get the council thing on the Oh yeah, yeah. Those look more solid than mine. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I've got a few things last year. I think it's okay. Wow, it was just, well, it was like, it has colors in the dentist for health care Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then
there's there's no doubt in my mind that our continued commitment um, makes a difference. We see lots of wins across the country all the time. And I think this week, I want to thank the Council Canadians and Michael for taking this, uh, creating this great event to kick off this exciting week of events. Uh, we at the uh, Clean Health Coalition will be having a rally that starts here Thursday at noon. And we'll be raising our voices to let the Premiers know. <laughs> Let the Premiers know that we expect them to stand with us in calling the federal government to provide the resources and leadership required for health care. Uh, so I look forward to seeing all, all of you there. And thank you for such a beautiful action tonight. All right, I'm going to turn to uh, Brother Wayne. That's it. We, uh, just had three. <laughs> well, well, I, hope, I hope nobody gets hurt with these uh, little balloons we got here. Uh, Pack up the fire, you can catch them on fire. Oh, there anyway, they are. I won't be long, but, but I do want to draw attention paper. to oh, everyone is. here uh, that the Premiers have really fallen down on the job. Uh, the Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, as an example, and the provincial government of Newfoundland and Labrador haven't paid an iona to what happened March 31st, 2014. And that was the day that the Prime Minister refused to go to yet another meeting of all the provincial um, uh, premier, and he didn't sign on the ballot line. The consequently means Newfoundland is going to lose out on a half billion dollars over a 10 year period. Just this year alone, Newfoundland lost 22 and a half million dollars in transfer payments from the federal government for health care, and nobody in the provincial government has said one word. But what they did come up with was a plan to bring in public private partnerships in Newfoundland Labrador. And what's so scary about these public private partnerships, we have the proof that they'll cost hundreds of millions of dollars and billions of dollars more to the residents of Newfoundland Labrador and you get less quality. Now now QB has a plan for the for the, the premier of Newfoundland Labrador. And that is we intend to make this an issue throughout the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, and we're telling our members and their families, look the politician in the eye when you come knocking on your door, and ask them two things. Do you sincerely believe in Medicare, the glue that, be uh, that binds Canada together? And then ask them if they believe and if they will implement public-private partnerships. And if they say yes, and if they don't give you an answer, don't vote for them. Make sure that the Tory government doesn't get elected again. And i got to be quite honest with you, I'm really nervous about the Liberals as well. Because back in 2001, when the Tories were in opposition, the Liberals came up with this idea of public private partnership. Then the Tories were against it. And now in their dying days, they're in favour. So if the government really wants to do the people to get that idea of these favour, the whole idea of public private partnership Try to get the other premiers throughout the country to band together and force the federal government to start paying into Medicare once again. Thank you very much. Thanks, Wayne. And last but not least, one of my favorite board members, Leo Broderick, who's come all the way from PEI to send a message to the premiers that it's across the Maritimes, it's across Canada that we care about health care. Well, thank you, Michael. Uh, I'm Leo Broderick and I am from Charlottetown, from Southern Island. I sit on the board of the Council of Canadians with Andrea Furlong here, who's from St. John's. And um, we're delighted to be here this week to send a very strong message to the premiers of, this, of the provinces, the 13 of them, that in the past few years they have not challenged the federal government to stand up for Medicare. And they are in, they are in partnership, really, with the whole movement to privatize health care across this country. So we need to send a very strong message. And I will agree with uh, my brother uh, here who says that um, we have got to challenge the premiers and the federal government because uh, there is a move to use privatization and the, the triple P is a prime example. But also, what Stephen Harper has done, and this is where I agree, he has done nothing but give uh, tax cuts to the corporations and the wealthy in this country. If the tax cuts onto the Conservative government since Stephen Harper became Prime Minister had not happened, we would have an additional $25 billion or more a year. We could yeah, easily yeah, yeah. fund, we could fund many public services, we could fund health care. But if it continues under the Conservative government and under Stephen Harper, 
we are going to see even more cuts. And it's not true that if you give cuts to the corporations and to the wealthy, the economy will expand. In fact, it has shown the exact opposite. So we're saying, the Council of Canadians, we want a strong provincial government in every province to stand up for health care, and we want a strong federal government emerging out of the next election that will give Canadians the things that they have valued over the past years and fought for. And one of them is a strong health care system. We can have a publicly funded health care system in the province, in this country, and we can go to Pharmacare. We can afford it. What we need to do is kick the Conservatives out of office and put a government in office in Ottawa that will give Canadians what they fought for and what they continue to fight for. And that is a strong public service, particularly health care. So in the, in the next four or five days, let's challenge the Premiers to stand up for health care. There are some new faces around the table compared to last year. And the media release that came out of the Premier's office in Newfoundland today says that on Thursday, health care will be on the agenda. So if we can get hundreds of people out and force the Premiers to take a stronger stand and challenge the federal government, we can save public health care in this country. So on behalf of Maude Barlow, who wishes that she could be here, uh, we bring strong greetings from the Council of Canadians. We thank uh, Michael, who is uh, our campaigner for health care. We thank the Canadian Health Coalition. And we thank our good friends, CUPE, that are always there standing with the Council of Canadians for all the hard work that's gone into organizing these events here in St. John's. So, and the St. John's chapter as well. Yes, and here's Erica hand, so. from uh, doing a lot of work. And uh, we thank the St. John's chapter as well. Okay, yeah. uh, Ken. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. It's great.